Now, there was a, a story told in here that I, I definitely wanted to go over because it revealed a little bit um, a, about Travis to me that was a little hard to pick up a little earlier, and that was obviously that he was funny as hell <laughs> and didn't mind taking some risks. So these guys are in a training situation, and you know Travis was on the radio, and he's given commands and he's given orders, and they're being listened to by some higher up training officer that's kind of monitoring what they're doing. And so Travis is going back and forth on the radio with his guys, they're doing some training. And then as Travis pressed the button to on his radio to relay the final order, a loud familiar voice suddenly overtook the frequency. Lieutenant, this is Coyote 6, the voice said. I'm not really sure what you're trying to do out here, but you're not following proper radio procedure. Sir? Travis asked, puzzled. You need to figure out what you're trying to do because I sure as hell can't tell by listening to your orders over this radio, the rising voice said. Do things right or do us all a favor and just go home. So, okay, Travis thinks about that and he just keys his radio and says, yes, sir. So they're continuing, they're doing a little bit more. Travis is continuing to direct his troops in this training operation. And finally the voice comes on again. Lieutenant Mannion, this is Coyote 6. He said as dozens of eyes rolled. I have, a qu- I have to ask you a question, son. Do you have any idea what the hell you're doing out there? Radio is dead silent for almost 30 uncomfortable seconds as everyone waited for the young second lieutenant's response. No, sir, Travis had. Travis said, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> now, for those of you that aren't in the military, when you key up on the radio, it's not like I'm just cracking a joke to my boss, to just me and him. No, there's like dozens and dozens, if not you know, 40, 50, maybe even 100 people that just heard you say that. Yeah. So that was a ballsy <laughs> comment, funny, risky, yeah. but kind of showed and it's classic. It's great because that tells the guys, "Hey, look, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna we're gonna push on. We're gonna make this happen." So I thought that. Was yeah, a- guys from uh, First Recon <laughs> shared that story when they came came to our place, and it was typical Travis, you know. And he said he just like everything got silent. The coyote shut up, and they said when they got back to the headquarters, they all wanted to meet this new lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't catch me yell from from Coyote Six on that. Coy- Coyote Six got quiet. That was yeah. it. Yeah, Dang, you got punked he, so hard. He just you just shut down. He, he probably couldn't help but understand that. Yeah, that was that was brazen, but yeah. that was a good joke. You know what? You, you know, know what too? I bet if he's a good guy and he's putting pressure on his troops, he might have just he might have just sat back from his radio and just thought to himself, respect. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I respect exactly. that. Yeah. We got to respect what was coming out from the Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> That's awesome. So now we fast forward. 